Hi everyone, it's Erkin Erson from Ray White Erskineville and welcome to our first market report for 2019. We've had a really strong start to the year so far with record numbers through some of our open homes. There's a good sense of confidence out there with buyers. But what I am finding is there are a lot of them who are just looking and doing research and tracking what's happening in the market. So when they are ready to buy something with finance, they're in a position to make that move quite quickly. On most of our properties, we're ending up after a four week campaign with between two to three qualified strong buyers who are finance ready and prepared to bid at auction and pay market value for some of these quality homes that have been on the market. Due to these strong qualified buyers that we've been having bidding at our auctions, we've been able to achieve an auction clearance rate this year of roughly about 83%. This is slightly higher than the Sydney average of 59%, and I truly believe our auction process and high quality marketing plays a large role in this. Two particular sales that we've achieved in the last couple of weeks were 96 Salisbury Road in Camperdown and 23 Simmons Street in Enmore. 96 Salisbury Road was a great three bedroom house with one bathroom, freestanding on about 270 square metres of land with real and access for parking. We had four buyers at this auction with two of them bidding confidently and the property selling for 1,450,000. 23 Simmons Street was a really nice home in a great street. I grew up in that street so I'm probably a little bit biased. It was a freestanding home, a two level Victorian terrace. It did need some renovation work, but we had six buyers at that auction two of them bidding and the property selling for 1.3 million. We currently have some great stock on the market and I'd love to talk to you about two of those in particular. The first is 1 slash 40 Cambridge Street in Stanmore. It's in one of my favourite buildings in that particular part of the inner west. It's a converted conventry from the 1920s. Beautiful Art Deco features. It's been meticulously renovated with two bedrooms, two bathrooms and a lock-up garage. Another fantastic property we have going to auction soon is 41 Juliet Street in Marrickville. It's a completely renovated two bedroom, one bathroom home with beautiful finishes throughout a landscape courtyard and in one of Marrickville's best streets which is Juliet Street. It's wide, tree-lined, ample on-street parking right on the border of Enmore within walking distance to Newtown, Enmore Park and Marrickville Metro. There are two key factors which the market is watching quite closely over the next few months. One is the state election in March and the second is the federal election in May. I particularly don't believe either of these dates or factors will have a major impact in our little part of the inner west with our average sale price going anywhere from one to two million. It may have an impact on the high end of the market when you're talking about five to $10 million properties. But within our price point, I think life will continue and go on as usual and we should still get some great buying activity and great results for our clients. As always, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to view this video. I look forward to seeing you out there at the next Open Home.